very interesting that Reformed Baptistic pastor John MacArthur, who has no stake in real presence, as understood by Lutherans or otherwise, also admits that there is weak manuscript evidence for the word broken being added to the text. Reformed Baptistic pastor John MacArthur rightfully admits that there is weak manuscript evidence for the inclusion of the words broken in reference to Jesus' body. So this is 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 24. It says, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And you see that number five by the word broken, that's signaling me to look at the notes here. Verse 24 talks about the word broken being omitted. You go to his commentary. It says there is weak manuscript evidence for this word being included. And to undergird his point as to how weak it is for that word to be included, he gives a reason. He references John chapter 19, verse 33 and 36. This is his reason to show why this is weak. It says, but when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. He uses this to say that that's weak evidence based on this passage. Then he refers to verse 36. For these things were done that the scripture should be fulfilled. Not one of his bones shall be broken. So John MacArthur uses these particular verses to show why that manuscript edition is weak because it conflicts with Jesus and his unbroken bones for the sake of fulfilling prophecy. All those 